Avengers Campus just recently opened at Disney's California Adventure, and with it, a fun new attraction, Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. This is a fun, game-based attraction, just like Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters or Midway Mania, but there are no guns, you don't hold anything, and it's all done with your hands. How cool is that? Web Slingers begins with a pre-show where Peter Parker is showing off some of the cool technology that they have at Web Headquarters, or the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. One of those inventions is the Spider-Bot, which has this cool self-replication mode. But by the end of the pre-show, the Spider-Bots have gotten stuck in self-replication mode and are running rampant. Peter quickly sends you to the Web Slinger vehicles to help get rid of the Spider-Bots while he goes to find Spider-Man. The layout of the ride is similar to Midway Mania, where the vehicles travel back and forth, stopping periodically in front of screens where you shoot the spider bots. The screens are surrounded by sets to completely immerse you in the story. As you travel along, the sets make it seem like you are traveling through the different places on Avengers Campus. On the ride, you will travel from the Web Headquarters, Pym Test Kitchen, the Tavon Collection, and Avengers Headquarters where the Quinjet is. Each vehicle holds eight people, four on each side. The vehicles are almost completely enclosed and have sliding doors on the end where you enter and exit the vehicle. The vehicles are placed on a base which travels around a set track while the vehicle is able to turn and spin freely on top of the base. The vehicle has a large window from which you are able to sling webs and take down the spider bots. To do this, Disney has used gesture recognition technology to track your body and eye movement. Now, if you've ever used an Xbox Kinect, you might be familiar with this type of technology. Now, a gesture is defined as any physical movement, whether it is big or small. So in terms of Spider-Man, it's defined as the position of your hands and the slinging motion of your arm. Gesture recognition technology is any technology that uses your body movements to use a computer or device rather than touching it. This technology uses cameras to feed image data into a sensing device connected to a computer. These cameras usually use infrared technology or a projector to calculate the depth of the area it is sensing. The image data then goes into a software which identifies gestures from a predetermined library. A certain gesture needs to be programmed into the computer, often with 3D modeling based algorithms or skeletal based algorithms. Skeletal based algorithms are faster and can be used as a template for the computer to match what it is seeing. The models in the algorithms are positioned to the different gestures you would use on the ride. Each gesture is then matched to a certain command and executed in real time. Webslingers most likely uses stereo cameras, which use more than one camera. 3D approximations can be created from a combination of the different cameras. These cameras are placed around the viewing window in the ride vehicle and analyze guests 60 times a second to track eye position and shoulder, arm, and hand movements. The computer can take all this information to create a 3D web that appears on the screen as you play the game. Each web projectile files at 1 25th of a second after the motion, and the game is programmed to produce different effects such as shooting webs, grabbing onto certain items, and pulling things down. Webslingers also has web shooter upgrades you can buy to get different effects when web slinging. You can get the Spider-Man or Ghost shooters, which shoot electrodynamic webs, or the Iron Man or Rescue Shooters, which change your webs into repulsor blasts. This ride is such a fun, action-packed game and a cool innovation to theme park games and touchless technology. And Disney never fails in helping us achieve our dreams and becoming like some of our favorite characters.